Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today I'm at Orr Ford in Stonewall, Louisiana, and I'm going to show you how to use Ford Active Park Assist. And if your vehicle is equipped with this, it not only comes on the trucks, but other Ford vehicles as well. But you may not know how to use it. So before we get started in our in-vehicle demonstration, I'm going to get that Ford F-150 that's between this 250 and the 150 behind it and use it in our demonstration. I'm going to show you from a couple of different angles, including inside the cab, how this works and how easy it is to use. But a word of caution. When you use this, you as the driver are responsible for braking and keeping an eye on what's going on around you. If for some reason there's something that you might hit or if you're going back too fast, you're responsible for maintaining control of your Ford vehicle. So what I like to do is make sure that I have my foot on the brake pedal and have a little bit of brake pressure so the truck doesn't move back too quickly. And when you do this the first time, Doing that with the brake pedal will help this whole experience to be a little bit easier because I have to admit the first time that I did this it was a little bit disconcerting but once I realized that I needed to maintain the brake pressure to keep the truck from moving back too quickly it made it a whole lot easier because I knew I had ultimately full control of what was going on. So let's hop into this F-150 King Ranch and I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. Okay guys, so I'm going to hit the active park assist button. The screen will change and tell me that I need to use my blinker to indicate which direction I want the truck or vehicle to find the parking space. So now I'm just going to move forward. Of course, you'll already be moving down the road when you do this most likely. Obviously, I'm just sitting here in the parking lot for demonstration purposes, but the screen is going to tell you when to stop. You'll hear a ding, and so let's listen for that. There we go. Tells me to pull forward, and when it's time to stop, it'll tell you. Watch the screen, and so now all I have to do is put the truck in reverse. Hands are not on the steering wheel, as you can see. I am maintaining brake pressure so I can control the speed of the truck. And I'm going to show you one more nifty little trick once we get into our space here that I think you're going to like as well. And so here's what we're going to do. Once you know you're good and straight, I've got these trucks spaced apart pretty good. So let's just say that you've got enough space and you need to move forward to get straightened up. All you have to do is put the truck in drive. Notice the steering wheel is turning again and just release the brake and let the truck move forward on its own. Of course, maintaining control of the truck with your foot on the brake pedal. But as you can see, the steering wheel is guiding me in. And once you're comfortable with where you are, you can go ahead and regain control of the truck. You can move the steering wheel. You can turn off active park assist if you want to. And you're set. It really is that easy. And that's how easy it really is to use Ford Active Park Assist. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please be sure to hit the like button. That helps me out immensely. It'll help me to get this video in front of more people. And make sure to lightly tap that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this whole thing with Ford Active Park Assist. I mean, Teslas aren't the only ones that can park themselves. Pretty amazing, isn't it? And you may have a Ford vehicle that has this feature on it that you didn't even know about. And so now you know. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, I'm not so sure how comfortable I'm going to be doing this, do exactly what I did. I spaced these trucks out quite a bit on purpose because I didn't want to take any risks of damaging a vehicle that belongs to Orr Ford here, which, by the way, I really appreciate my friends here for loaning me these three trucks so I could shoot these videos and tell you what's going on and how to use this pretty amazing feature. Once you do it a couple of times, like I say, just get in a big parking lot with a couple of vehicles, space them apart, uh, maybe your own personal vehicles or some friends or whatever, and space them apart enough to where it's really easy to kind of get used to the feel of what this is like. Because like I said, it takes a little getting used to, but after the first time of doing it, the second time I did it, it was super easy. You'll see that you need to keep your foot on the brake and you'll probably adjust the amount of pressure you're using the second, third, fourth time you do it. It's a very nice, convenient feature. I appreciate all of you for taking the time to watch, and I will see you next time on Vehicle Visionary.